Hey YouTube, check me here again. Um, you know, I'm gonna do this match against uh, Andre. It's gonna be Diago versus Andre. And then after this, uh, probably not today, but in the next couple days or so, because I'm gonna have a little bit of a break, uh, I'm gonna start recording, or I'll start going over uh, some of my matches and my mindset, because a couple people asked for it, so um, I guess I'll do it. Um, but yeah, so this matchup was actually very, very good too. I haven't seen this in a while, but I remember basing a lot of what I do with Bison off of this matchup because like I said it's best to go to the people who are best at their characters see what they do and try to think of ways to get around it or ways to beat it so without further ado here we go in this matchup it's really just for Ryu you just really gotta be really patient and you just gotta be willing to block because I mean like Balrog Bison's normals are better than Ryu's like he has his crouching kick like his uh... his low forward and um, that's it though, really, I mean, his his standing high kick and standing medium kicks just destroy Diago, or I'm sorry, destroy Ryu, so, it's a good combo there, Jesus, I mean, that's just beautiful option select right off the bat, and the reason why you're going to see, I think you're, I don't remember this matchup completely, but you're probably going to see Diago jumping a lot. Just because Bison's anti-airs aren't the best. They're good. His crouching high kick is good, but you have to be at a certain distance. So if you ever see a Bison uh, focus, you know, focusing or anything like that, jump at him. Because he's going to have to dash back and you're, he's going to put you, it's going to give you the momentum to go forward. Um, but yeah, like I said, he doesn't have very many good, very many good. He doesn't have, um, like other than that I know he has his crouching fierce punch, which is barely ever used because I don't know, it's just not. But I know that's an anti-air and his standing uh, roundhouse is an anti-air. So you're probably gonna see a lot of jumping, and that's just beautiful right there too. That there I was talking about again that hesitation. If you look at it, hesitating and then going into it because he hesitates there because he he can either grab or he can do that. So it's a 50-50 game, you know. And then he goes right back into the uh, safe jump again. He decides to go with the same route. But I mean, he's already in a life lead, or he's already uh, at a half life disadvantage. So, but I mean, things can change really quickly with Bison. Oh, good DP there. He's really trying to set the tone. See, right there, he that's really the only thing I think Bison can do. I mean, other than that, but... Like, just on sudden jumps, if the Bison player is not ready, he has to focus out of it. Ooh! I think that was a mash. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was a mash. But, hey, it's a victory. I don't recommend it, but I mean, if you see that, I'll go do it. Maybe I don't know something. But it just seems a little risky. But I guess he did have two bars. So maybe it's okay to match if you have two bars. I guess the moral of the story. Wow, okay, so there it was again. Um, there was that Crouching Fierce that I rarely ever see used. But Andre might know how to use it because he is probably the best bison. So he probably will know how to utilize that. See, right there, okay. Um, oh, a little forward. Right there, you see after that first scissor kick, after Bison does a medium and a scissor kick, you have to block. You have to block it. Whatever he's going to do next, you have to block. He has frame advantage off this. Right there, see how he tried to jump and do something? It's not going to work. Even if he were just to do his low uh, medium, it wouldn't matter. He would still get hit by that. So, Ryu players, it's either you block or you, you DP right here. So, those are your only two options. My recommendation is block for the majority. D I like 85, like 80, 80 block, 20 DP, just to like keep him honest, you know, just so he doesn't think you can just keep doing whatever he wants. Like put a little fear in there, but don't go DP happy because Bison does take damage. Like he's no joke. So here we go. No, I tried to uh, auto correct there, but it was a good jump from Andre. And this is okay. This just like this, like uh, I'm sorry, just like Bi or uh, Balrog. You never want to be in the corner with Bison either. His corner game is just as good as Balrog's. It may be even a little better just because of his normals are so good and safe. Because with Balrog, if he hits you with a normal and you focus it, you can dash at him. Bison, you can't. He gets he has a lot better recovery time. Um, so, like if you can get out of the corner, I would recommend getting out of the corner as much as possible. Even though Diago seems to be okay with it, uh, I'm not really. I get hit a lot, even though I block most of it. So what I do is if I if he does the scissor kick once then does a scissor kick again. He can't do anything afterwards. 
After the second scissor kick, you're free to do whatever you want. So what I usually do after the second scissor kick is jump and then uh, helicopter out, which is spin kick out. You're the uh, Tatsumaki out. So yeah, here we go. Yeah, I mean, this is just rough. Yeah, I mean, I don't even blame him. Maybe he built a little bar by doing an uppercut. Maybe that's what his thought was because it's just so brutal trying to get out of that corner. It's no joke, especially from a player like Andre. Ooh. That was option select right there, but it missed. Pretty good wake up DP there. Like I said, you just it's just you hit the block all of this. Like it's no joke. Just go a little forward. Just all this right here. It's just rough. It's such a good pressure game, and his focus dash is so good too. I mean, it's a pretty good idea because I mean Andre was being so aggressive. He figured you can get him off of him. But he's going right back to him, so I don't know why. Maybe he's trying to get a free combo. Trap combo right there. Good little forward. Trying to keep him honest. You have to throw fireballs in this matchup. Even if even if the bison has two bars, you have to throw bar. Oh, you have to throw fireballs. You have to make him burn him, because the longer he has bars, <laughs> the less chance you have of winning. Uh, I'm going to make this into two bits, so. Because it's already six minutes long. One second.